Hello students, myself Ashish Chawla. Today we discuss about some properties uh, of the triangles related to angles. Triangles. Okay. Now the first, that is the one most, the most important property of the triangle is that the sum of the interior angle of triangle is 180 degree. It means a uh, triangle's case sub interior angle ka sum 180 degree hota hai. that we have, we have to prove this. The sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Triangles ke tino angles ka sum 180 degree hota hai. Let's see. So there is a triangle ABC. Now we have to prove this. Now we have to prove that is angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equals to 180. Now uh, for prove this we have to do one construction. The construction is that we have to draw a line which is parallel to BC and pass through A. Parallel to BC and which will pass through A. So this is the line that is There is a line I draw. Line L which is parallel to BC and pass through, pass through A. This is our construction. Now, let uh, this angle is denoted by let's say angle 1. This is by 2. Now, as the line L is parallel to BC, we can say angle 1 is equal to angle B because alternate interior angles are equal. Same way, angle 2 is equal to angle C. Again, alternate interior angles are equal because 1 and B form the shape of Z. So they are alternate interior angles. And as the lines are parallel, so 1 and B are equal. Same way, angle 2 and angle C are equal. So now, as the line L is a straight line, so the angle made at the point A on the same side of the line should be 180 degrees. So angle 1 plus angle A plus angle 2 angle 1 plus angle A plus angle 2 should be equals to 180 degree. Now as we know that angle 1 is nothing but angle B. So replace angle 1 by B. Angle A as it is. Replace angle 2 by angle C. It is 180 degree. So we prove this that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Now the next important property of the triangle based on angle is that that the exterior angle exterior angle of a triangle exterior angle of a triangle is equals to is equals to sum of the interior interior opposite triangle mein exterior angle interior angle ke sum ke equal hota hai interior opposite angle ke sum ke equal hota hai ye hame prove karna hai now let's say this is the triangle a okay. now we have to produce bc so this is your exterior angle b this is the exterior angle B. And we have to prove this. We want to prove that this exterior angle, this exterior angle B is equals to the sum of the interior opposite angles. The interior opposite angles are A and C. So exterior angle B is equals to angle A plus angle C. We have to prove that that exterior angle B is equal to angle A plus angle C. So to prove this, 
Now, as this is a straight line, so exterior angle B plus angle B, angle B plus exterior angle B should be equal to 180 degree because linear BF property. Now, and we also know that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degree plus angle B plus angle C equals to 180 degree. Now, from these two equations, here the RHS sides are equal, so we can say their left hand side is also equal, or we can say angle B plus exterior angle B is equal to angle A plus angle B plus angle C. So angle B is cancelled, so we get exterior angle B is equal to angle A plus angle C. So this is our result. So in any triangle, the exterior angle is equal to the interior opposite angle, sum of the interior opposite angle. Now the next most result is third property that is sum of exterior sum of exterior angle of a triangle is always 360 degree. Triangles means the exterior angle of sum 360 degree. Let's say this is our triangle A, B, C. B, C ko produce kiya. This is our exterior angle B. Side B, C ko idhar produce kiya. This is exterior angle C. Side C, A ko produce kiya. This is exterior angle A. Okay. As we already know that the exterior angle of a triangle, no sorry, we have to prove that the exterior angle A plus exterior angle B plus exterior angle C is equal to 360 degree. We have to prove this. That we have to prove. Now, to prove this, we use the result that we have already proved that is in statement 2. That is, the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the interior opposite angles. So, we can say that exterior angle A, exterior angle A is equal to the sum of the interior opposite angles. So, the opposite angles are B and C. So, exterior angle A is equal to angle B plus angle C. In the same way, the exterior angle B can be written as angle A plus C. Exterior angle C can be written as angle A plus B. Okay. Now, we add all these three equations. We add all these three equations. So, we get exterior angle A plus exterior angle B plus exterior angle C. So, on the right hand side we see that P is coming two times, C is coming two times and A is also coming two times. So, we can take two common angle A plus angle B plus angle C. Now, two times, as you know that the angles, uh, in some of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degree. So, 2 into 180 degree. So we get 2 into 180 that is 360 degree. So we do this that the sum of the exterior angle of a triangle is always equals to 360 degree. Now the next property that is related to triangles is that is that the angle the angle opposite to equal sides of a triangle is equal. The angle opposite to the equal sides of a triangle are equals. Are equal. 
let's see there is a triangle ABC here it is we have given that two sides are equal let's say AB and AC are equal and we have to prove that that the angle opposite the side AB that is angle C is equals to the angle opposite to the side AC that is angle B. We have to prove this. Now to prove this we have to do one construction. Draw the altitude. Draw the perpendicular to the side BC from the vertex C. Let's say this is the point D. For this we have to draw one construction that is AD is perpendicular to BC. Now, now the triangle ABD and triangle ACD. When we are looking at the triangle ABD and triangle ACD, we see that AB equals to AC. Both are equal. It is given. Now AD is common in both the sides, both the triangles. Now in triangle ABD, angle ADB is equal to angle ADC. Both are equal to 90 degree. So triangle ABD and triangle ACD both are on ranked because by RHS criteria. So by RHS criteria, triangle ABD is congruent to triangle ACD. As the triangles are congruent, so their corresponding parts are equal. So we can say angle B is equal to angle C by CPCT. Angle B is equal to angle C by CPCT. Thank you.